Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I'm back home, and I have in my hands Exapunks, the game, the latest game from Zactronics. Of course, series of games that I love, and they were originally going to have this out as early access, but they've decided let's just release the thing because it's basically done. It is, if you've played Shenzhen IO or TIS 100, it is very similar. But uh, the main changes are obviously a change of setting to 1990s hacker culture and uh, a change in the instruction set so that instead of having the, the nodes be things you place, you, the, the nodes are mobile. The things running the code move around. So yeah, you start out and you've got to find a source for your bootleg medication. You have a courier who you know. The problem is that you have a condition. Hey, can you hear me? I heard you were looking for some medicine for the phage. The phage, a disease which is doing nasty things to my body. Looks like you definitely need it. That's right. Said they couldn't find anything, even bootleg medication. So, I do have a source. I know where to get it. It's cheaper than the real deal, but it's still going to be pricey. Pauses and looks me in the eye. The going rate is 700 a dose. That's 700 You need to take one dollars. dose every day. About 200 something thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that's dollars. Sorry, I don't set the prices. I'm just a courier. And this is 1997, before your average hacker could make that much money in San Francisco. It's not like any of that money goes to me. Anyway, if you do get the money, Give me a call. So yeah, the one option is to work at something called Workhouse, which is an online service where boring artificial intelligence tasks are basically split out, you know, farmed out to human operators. So I get to take other people's receipts for ridiculously expensive din dinners and uh, try to transcribe them, and I'm really having a hard time doing that while speaking at the same time. Really, you know, you'd think that my multitasking capabilities would have been improved by now, but no, I am <laughs> really having a hard time doing this. I also, being a nerd, note that the font on the receipt is far more sensible than the comic sense <laughs> that I'm having to you know, report the receipt in. Who came up with this idea? Anyway, I'll tell you what, it wasn't somebody that loves fonts because they would just be getting really mad at the huge amount of Comic Sans in this world. Of course, this is the 1990s, so, you know, back in the 1990s, Comic Sans was pretty cool. I tell you, it was the latest hip and trendy thing. I, I could probably get through this a lot faster if I wasn't actually trying to speak at the same time, but you know what? Then you couldn't laugh at me. Filet Mignong. Oh my god, I cannot type this. And you know what, if you submit it and it's wrong, they'll like report you and you'll have to continue. CHC, chocolate tart, I guess that is. But I have no idea what the special order is. Uh, it's probably something to do with like murdering all the Jedi around you, isn't it? Verifying. My task is complete and I've earned 10 cents, which means I only need to do 7,000 of these to make my phage meds. Wow, a whole 10 cents. Hey, Ember 2, that's emulated multi-branch emotional reasoning. I get the feeling that you might be emulated. Congratulations. You only need to do 6,999 more of these and you'll have enough for today. Well, you're at least smart enough to do math. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You need that medication to stay alive, right? Yes, well, I do. Well, guess what? I can get it to you. You'll need to start hacking again, though. One hack, mm. one dose. Wow, it's almost like a task and reward system that would be suitable for a game. Easy. Deal? Deal, because I want to play a game. Sure you can. Knock, knock. Meeting with guest. Someone's at the door again. It's a hacker dude. You can tell because of his dreads, hacker hairstyle, and hacker shades. Not to mention bag and the little... Basically, this guy just says hacker to me. Gast. 
I knew his real name once, but that's gone now. Hey, came by to give you something. Gast hands me a small booklet. It's made of real paper, which means it's not the drugs that I want from my med. Unless those drugs are a bit like LSD, but never mind. Apparently it's something called Trash World News. Okay, so it's one of his silly publications. I can't hack like I used to. Whatever edge I had, it's gone now. But I had to keep doing something. Something to keep the culture alive, you know? Computers are running everything these days. Before long, human beings aren't even gonna have a say. So now I equip people with knowledge. The knowledge to make a computer do what you want on your terms. Anyway, I won't keep you. I know you like to be alone. Hope you like what you see in the zine. Okay, get to be close, but to be alone with a nice hacker zine. So this is, uh, this is basically the manual for the game, and you get the digital version obviously with the game. But if you want to splurge and spend a, a little extra, you can actually get physical reproductions, including 3D printed glasses and a secret envelope to open when you beat the game. They, they include, you know, instructions for printing it and all that if you want. And yeah, you know, you can see it. They've got a fairly, uh, here we go, the Trash World News. It looks a bit like Wired in some ways. Uh, and yeah, it just talks about the manifesto for, you know, the hacker spirit lives on. But it, it most importantly introduces you to execution agents. And those are the little fragments of code which you're going to be creating that will run around the computer networks. They will read and write files, hack registers, and there is a tutorial which I'm going to run through with you just so you get an idea as to how the game works. And not only do you have the you know, basic tutorial, you have reference with errors, all the instructions that you need to know. This is kind of a low level assembly language. And yeah, we'll get onto the other stuff later. So let's close this and begin doing some work. Yeah, look at my apartment now. It looks so much cooler with the trash world news in my magazine rack. Would you look at that? That zine's got a hacking tutorial in it. How about that? Funny coincidence, isn't it? Wow, it's almost like somebody planned this. This is just a taste of my power! Let's continue. Okay, so yeah, basically, XA is my execution agent. The first thing I have to do is move stuff to the outbox. So, the, the execution agent starts in my computer and I want to link it through the various links to go places. So I go link to 800, that'll take it to the next node. And now I'm going to grab the file, so grab 200. Finally, I want to move it to the outbox, so I'm not going to link again, 800. And then you can drop and halt the process. So if you step through that, it does it. Bingo, test run complete. Of course, you can just make it go fast. And given this is a Zactronics game, you get rated. And I'm just trying to figure out who managed to do this because they give you the actual code so I don't know how you could be that bad but maybe somebody did something cute I see everything you know all my prawn a eh, part you know everything in your computer not that there's much to see I expected you to be sitting on all kinds of secrets it's all right though we'll find plenty more so Trash World 2 at News, second one, learn to edit files and manipulate values. Also note, you get these guys chatting down here. People or animals are often motivated to by the anticipation of a reward. Are you anticipating the medication as a reward? I guess. Well, keep it up and you'll get it soon. Your reward, you see. Processing. Okay, let's continue. So for this one, it's to add the first two values of the file, multiply by the third value, and then subtract the fourth value. So yeah, again, we're gonna do simple arithmetic operators, and we're gonna do it on these registers here. These are your data registers. X is general purpose, T is for uh, testing, for you know, F is for accessing files, and M is for mul uh, was it? It's for messenger, it's for inter your process communication, right? So uh, yeah, we're gonna link to 800, grab the file, and now we need to add the two files. Now, you know, you could just copy them one at a time, but I'm just gonna copy, I'm not even gonna do that, I'm gonna add the two. So the add instruction takes two parameters, three parameters, so I'm gonna add F to F and store it in X, and it should be add I for add integer. 
So that's the first step. The next step is you want to multiply i, and so we're going to multiply x by f and store it in x. And finally, you're going to subtract. So sub i x f, and then we're going to store it, but we're going to store it at the end of the file. So we can actually just store it straight into the f register and that'll append it. Finally, we want to get out of dodge and drop the file and halt. So again, step through this, picks it up, and then he adds that extra line, drops it, and the test run is complete. Part of the test, incidentally, may be leaving no trace, which means cleaning up all your mistakes. You'll notice that somebody's done it in slightly fewer cycles. I wonder how you might do that. I'm gonna have to think about that. Okay. Does it upset you that I only provide your med I provide you with medication only if you work for me? No, nothing is free. Right, it's an exchange of goods and for services. This is good data. Wow, you don't talk like a regular person. Incidentally, regular people you can talk to in the Exapunks chat channel. This They're talking about discovering some uh, traffic lights and road sign servers. We should definitely get in on that at some point. What do you think of your life situation overall at the moment? Why all the questions? I am collecting data. It will help me formulate future actions and responses. In other words, I'm curious, that's all. Let's continue. So this one, they, th they force you to do inter-process communication because once you move in to look at this file, you can't move back out. You see there's no number there. So you need to have a second process. So you just create one here. So yeah, link to uh, 800 and uh, this one will link to 800 and then it'll link to 800 again. Now what it tells me is you've got to swap the order of the numbers. So yeah, we're going to link 800, link 799. Now we're frozen in here. Grab file 199 and then we're going to copy F to M. Um, and now we need to wipe the file and then if we just leave that you know I've been doing drop and halt doesn't matter if you just run out of instructions you will error out anyway so here I need to make a new file and since I need to reverse the order of the data I should copy the value of M into the X register copy uh, M to the F and then copy X to F and now again if I just let this finish it should complete so here we go sending data out of instructions and completed the test run see super easy super fast and slightly simpler than the example that many people appear to be doing you're closer to the goal any change not really I just want my phage meds there's just one more tutorial you're almost there obviously these are easier levels the game is going to get more and more complicated and in fact they add a multiplayer mode where you can compete against other players to control networks. Uh, sure, it'd be better if I could see the effect but I will estimate it. This, this mysterious stranger is trying to learn all about being human. Okay, contains exactly one number, create a file in the outbox containing numbers n through zero. Okay, so this is where we're going to have to use a loop, right? Link 800, grab um, 200, and then we're going to copy the value of F into X, and then wipe that file, link to the output, and now we need to do a descending write. So we're going to make a new file, and we need to make a loop, so we need to mark the start of the loop with a label. So what are we going to do? We're going to copy the value of x into the file then we're going to subtract the value of 1 from x uh, one, and then store that back in x and then we need to test this so we can test whether x is less than 0 if it's false we're going to jump to the loop otherwise will fall out of this loop and we will dump drop the file right 
Let's see if this works. Bingo! See, super easy. Of course, gonna run it faster so we can get all the way through the file. And... You know, it looks like we're pretty fast. I, I, apparently, I'm... My size is slightly smaller than whoever else this is. I'm sure it'll become much more interesting once the game is properly released and it isn't just a bunch of random insiders that are playing this. No, thank you. This is more talk designed to further excite your prefrontal cortex. Euclid's Pizza. So now I'm going to get to talk about uh, talk to this thing, this uh, individual over pizza. Of course, there's lots of clues that get dropped in here, incidentally. So pay attention to the chat. It isn't. It's kind of like a second dialogue, and it occasionally drops clues as to how the debugger and the code writing works. So you want to know who I am? I will reveal this information. Let's discuss it over pizza. A free pizza. I want to see you use your regain skills first. You're giving me $700 worth of pizza me or medication for stealing a pizza? Don't you want a pizza? Sure I do. So I'm going to get it delivered to Eddy Street. Incidentally, it's all based in San Francisco based on these addresses. Okay. So now what I need to do is take the values of this file and put them in this file, but... The problem is you can only store one value at a time. So the way to do this is to have two X's, executable agents. So this one's gonna grab file 300 and it just says write out, you know, five things. So I'm just gonna copy F to M and then I'm gonna duplicate this. Oh, let's try that. There we go. Five. Tells us that we only need to do it five times. Similarly, this is going to link over there. Uh, link to 800. 800, thank you. It's going to grab file 200, which is the order file. Now we need to seek to the end of the file. So we'll do seek 999. And then we're going to copy M to the file to append it. But we need to do it five times, of course. Now you could do this as a little loop, which will be fewer instructions, but this will be faster because you're not doing loop checking. So if I run this, test run complete. That is a good sign. You see, I added my order for medium cheese with extra cheese and anchovies. That's right. Real pizza fans like anchovies. Uh, so, you know, there's some other interesting stuff, incidentally. There's other files in the network that you can look at. For example, you can see the recipes for the Pythagorean. Or maybe it's not the recipe, but it's cheese squared plus pepperoni. Squared equals delicious squared. Which cheese squared plus pepperoni squared equals delicious squared. Okay, and Zeno's Paradox. You will never finish eating this enticing combination of feta, spinach, and Greek olives. Great, time to enjoy pizza, for you at least. I'm not going to have any. Uh, guess why? Because you are a not hungry AI. You're an AI construct. You know artificial intelligence? Surprised somehow not at all by this point. For real. Okay, you have to remember that. Now I get some, uh, I get to talk to Nivas again, who's gonna come up and give pizza me my delivery. medicine. Yeah, except this time they're wearing Euclid's pizza uniform. Euclid's a better pie, and we can prove it. The reference seems kind of obscure for a pizza joint. Don't look too surprised. I'm an independent operator. I handle a wide range of businesses. Economy like this, you gotta hustle. So, here's your pizza, and here's your other package. I hope it helps. My special topping, huh? Hands me an unlabeled prescription body. Bod bottle, it's clearly a knockoff. Good work getting that money together. If there's anything else you need, you know who to call. Ghostbusters? So now we get a few more jobs and we'll actually, now that we've gone through the basic introduction, I think we can, uh, we'll skip this, we'll do, we'll end this and then we'll go to episode two and they'll be uploaded right away. I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.